Morning students, today we are going to look at this question. We are going to compare two fractions to see which one is greater. The two fractions we have here today are 6 fourteenths and 5 eighths. And the first thing I'm going to check is if they have the same numerator, 6 and 5. No, they do not. Next, I'm going to check if they have the same denominator and they do not. So I'm going to try to compare to half. Now, let's look at the first fraction. I'm comparing this to half. I'm going to look at the denominator 14. A denominator of 14 means that the whole is cut into 14 equal parts. Now, I want to know if I have 14 equal parts, what would be equivalent to half? Now, if I have 14 equal parts, half would be 7 pieces. Yep. So now, half is 7 14. But this fraction is 6 14. So we know that this fraction is actually less than 7 14, which is the same as half. So this fraction is less than half. Now I'm going to put an L here. So I remember that this fraction is less than half. Now let's move on to the second fraction, 5 eighths. Now if we are talking about eighths, what would be equivalent to half if we had 8 equal parts? Now, if it's 8, half of it would mean 4. Okay, if you cannot see this, a good way would be to see that I have multiplied by 4 here and therefore times 4. Now, these are equivalent. Yep, so now I'm going to compare 5 eighths with 4 eighths. 5 pieces of eighths versus 4 pieces of eighths, meaning that this is greater than 4 eighths and therefore this is also greater than half. Now, this is more than half. I'm going to put a M. Now, now that I have established and compared it with half, I know that 6 14 is less than half. So if I have a number line, now half is here, I'm going to put less than half would be on the left-hand side. So I'm going to put 6 14 somewhere there. I do not know exactly where it is, but I know it's on the left-hand side. And 5 eighths is more than half. Now if half is here, more would be to the right. So I'm going to put 5 eighths here. Now, in the number line, we know that it increases towards the right. So, obviously, 5 8 is greater than 6 14. So, 5 8 is the greater fraction.